Hello and welcome back to Football Tactics and Glory and Manchester's Journey to the Premier League. My name is Rio and last episode we finished up our brief appearance in the Liberty Cup with a 3-1 loss to mean that we got knocked out on 7-1 aggregate. It wasn't a great uh, matchup for us against Bismarck, but today, today, we take on Montgomery, the last place team in the third league, and we played them in an intense game last, at the beginning of the season, we traveled down to Montgomery and ended up triumphing four to three in a back and forth game. So we know we know we can't take them lightly, but we've shown that we can beat them before, and I'm hoping we can do it again. So Yeah, there's uh oh the one the one big thing on here is Dickinson. Dickinson is back. He has been injured since the Montgomery game. That is the only game he's played. Now he will play his second game of the season, again against Montgomery. So welcome back to Dickinson. Uh, Tompkins was the one filling in for him during that time, and he had a good performance there. He's still our only defender with the goal in the history of Manchester at 10 tackles in 12 matches. He's been a very solid backup defender that is going to be sticking around for a little longer, but we do have contract situations with many players and not that many funds to work with, so we're looking at selling Edge probably later this month, but for now, we can use him to maybe get us some victories. Manchester versus Montgomery, round two. It's the second half of the season starting, and we want to start it off as well as we started off the first half. Here we go, we're at home. Snow is on the ground. We have officially entered winter. And Calvert is going to move in and try and keep it away from Poe. Calvert wasn't able to keep it away from Poe, and O'Donnell will be moving in. Hancock moves back. The pass does not get to Smalley. Smalley. I feel like I had trouble with that name before, previously, too. So, O'Keefe is going to come over to press. Roman is going to try the unlikely tackle, and he gets it! Only barely, but he did manage to get the ball, and is now going to hold. And Calvert right in front of goal is something to keep in mind. Of. Oh, they're going for the slide tackle here. Michaels coming up, and gets it on the second try. What's he going to do with it now? Is he going to hold it? No, he's going to pass over to Joy. Well, Edge will now be pressing to give Roman another chance at getting a tackle, and he does it. It's been a midfield battle so far, and it's likely to be taken away immediately. Yes, it is. Carrier takes it from Roman. Now, the pass to Kowalski goes there and is probably going to go for the shot. Okay, well, that actually wasn't what I expected them to do. So, Doss passes over to Edge. Edge. Gonna have to do a lofted pass to O'Donnell, but he's gonna try it and gets it to O'Donnell. And O'Donnell turns. And is going to go for the cannon shot, and O'Donnell puts Manchester up one to nothing. What a shot. All of our forwards now have cannon shots, so that might become more of a familiar sight from here on out. Hancock takes the ball, goes for the shot, Hodges 
saves it. Can Biggs or Kowalski move up? Kowalski moves up to take the ball. They're gonna use Shitter to try and take it away. Succeeds in doing so. What's the next move for him, though? Uh, we're gonna pass out to Edge. Move Scruggs back into the mill, and Edge is just going to hold this one. So we got our sweeper back into the center, and Carrier isn't able to take it away from Edge. Will Joy try next? No. Doesn't even try. So the layoff pass to O'Donnell goes in. And he's going to... Well, the break-in skill would have been helpful there. Uh, and once again, we're going for the cannon shot. And O'Donnell gets his second goal in about the last ten minutes. Manchester up two to nothing. Can the defense keep holding on here? Hancock gets the ball, turns up fields, looking for a goal here, and Scruggs knocks it right back to him. And this time, it's going to be Dickinson going for the tackle. He takes it away. Passes to Edge, and Edge, once again, is going to hold and we're just going to keep exploiting this this weakness of the defense. Getting O'Donnell into position. And Joy, this time he's going to try it. And Joy takes it away! Joy takes the ball. We're moving Scruggs back in. Edge is going to try the unlikely tackle. Isn't able to do it. So Dickinson's going to move back into position to try and stop any passes to Hancock. Goes over to Kowalski. Kowalski turns up field. Passes over to Hancock. Hancock, with the last action of the half, he's going to go for the shot. And it's not a good one. Scruggs easily kicks that one away. And Manchester enters the half up two to nothing. A great start there. They've... It's been pretty even on possession, but Manchester has simply had better possessions. That's just how it's worked. Uh, and I think later in the game, we might get Thacker in. He's so close to an upgrade. I'm, I'm just hoping we can manage it. And also Greer, our newest player. I would love to get him in for one of our forwards at some point. Maybe O'Donnell, who's been working a lot. But Edge Edge has been working the most on the team. We're going to see how the defense holds up, though. we got to keep our offensive potential if Montgomery goes on a run, which they've shown they can do. So Hancock, who's motivated, coming out of halftime. The coach gave him a great pep talk. And Hodges saves that one, too. Kowalski's going to come up to take the ball. And Doss is going to press, giving Scherer a chance to take it. He does so easily. And he could go for the long pass, but no, both, both the players being motivated is going to make that a little difficult. Instead, Scherer's just going to hold this one and try and keep it away from Kowalski. Kowalski takes it away! Here we go, Kowalski on goal, he's motivated, and it's not enough, Hodges is too good. But Kowalski can go over to take the ball, once again. I wonder how the press works for the goalkeeper, does that help? It does. So Hodges is going to try and take this, and succeeds. Hodges is going to do a pass over to Dickinson, and Dickinson's just going to hold this one. Try and keep it away from Hancock. 
Dickinson. Yeah, we missed you. Tompkins is a great defender, but we, we missed Dickinson. Here. Dickinson passes to Edge. Edge. Puts O'Donnell into position for the cannon shot. Here we go, and a hat trick for O'Donnell. And that's going to be the one that brings in Greer for Olsen and Thacker for Edge. There we go. A 3 nothing lead. Hancock. Hasn't had any success so far. But he's going to keep trying. Uh, can Kowalski get that one? Yes, he can. So, Dickinson is going to go for the slide tackle. Can't take it away. Scruggs is going to move into the box. And Thacker's going to move... No. Where? Uh, Greer. Greer is going to get his first points of specialization right there. What is Kowalski going to do with it? He's going to pass to Hancock. Hancock goes for the shot, and Hodges has been unstoppable so far. But Shader gets it taken away. Shader's motivated, though. He's gonna go for the aggressive tackle. Easily takes that one away. He's gonna pass out to Thacker. And Thacker is going to hold this one. And try and keep it... Oh, never mind. That... That wasn't necessarily the best idea, so Greer's just going to move back. I forgot about the extra action from Shatter. Thacker keeps it from Carrier. This could be the possession where Thacker gets his upgrade. Passes to O'Donnell. O'Donnell has been on top of the world so far. Can he do it again? Not on that one, it's saved. But it's a, it's a corner kick. Roman's going to take that. Uh, Greer, so we don't have Olsen in, so Donald's gonna be our main person to try and head one in. He's gotten some headers before. Here we go, Roman. So, O'Donnell has the near post, Calvert has the far post. The pass is good, and it's knocked away by Poe. A good job by them. O'Donnell, though, takes it away from Michaels. And then Poe takes it away from O'Donnell. Poe passes to S Smalley. And Smalley's just going to hold that one. So, Greer is going to be coming up to actually try and make a play. O'Keefe presses. Greer goes for the very unlikely tackle. Does not get it, unsurprisingly. And Thacker will move back. And Hancock is now in the box. So, Kowalski has the ball. Passes to Hancock. And Hancock on goal. And this time, Man Montgomery manages to get past Hodges. Hodges had an incredible game, but he did let one up right at the end. Now Calvert will get the ball, and I'm, I'm tempted to go to Greer, but anything we can do to upgrade to get a better goal differential is something I want to try. So Calvert keeps the ball. Can he score a goal to end the game here? He's going to go for the power shot. It is saved by Rush, and that does it. Manchester wins 3-1 to one against Montgomery to kick off the second half of the season. And we got a glimpse of Greer, who's, who's I'm hoping, going to be a big part of our future. O'Donnell and Thacker level up.
from this game. O O'Donnell, Hodges, and Shatter are our men of the match. O'Donnell very well deserved, as is Hodges. Shatter, that, that one could have gone any number of directions, including Edge. And here we go. And we have an upgrade for Thacker, and we are very close with Hodges and O'Donnell. But Thacker is now an amateur midfielder. Welcome to the club. Now, the rainbow feint, slide tackle, or interception? And I think we're going to go with the slide tackle. The rainbow feint uh, is not going to be too helpful for a midfielder, but having that slide tackle for defense in the middle I think will be very helpful. And we finally have a midfielder that's a backup midfielder. So we only got two fans from that. That's a bit disappointing, but we made a fair amount of money, got some glory. It's looking pretty good. And to kick off the second half of the season, Little Rock beat Jackson 2-1. Montpelier upset Providence 1-0. Concord beat Boise. Topeka beat Columbia. And San Jose beat Louisville. Where does that place us in the standings? We have gone up to fourth. 22 points. We're only two behind Providence now. But we're only one ahead of Little Rock, who's only one ahead of Topeka, who's only one ahead of Louisville and Montpelier. There's a lot of teams competing in this, uh, I'd say, three through eight range. I think Concord and San Jose are starting to run away with this top of the league as their goal differentials definitely indicate, but we're still pushing, and our next game will be against Providence, and in the meantime, still got to consider these contract situations. It might have been good to... Okay, so Thacker's still about the same price now that he's an actual midfielder, but it's a good thing. Good thing we keep track of these things. Uh, Gibbons. How much could Gibbons sell for? 105 gold. Not not gonna be much, but it might happen at some point simply because Gibbons is just not gonna see the field. He's played in two matches for Manchester all time and zero this season. When we've needed someone to come in, it's Ben Thornton mainly. And Thacker. Thacker has one assist and two tackles this season. Pretty good. Okay. I hope you enjoyed this episode. A lot of fun to get back into competitive games for us. And I hope you joined me next time after liking, commenting, subscribing, sharing, all the regular YouTube things. Have a great day, and happy gaming.